Hey guys, Crewman here, and we all know that we are nearing the end of lithium mining. The Gold Shell ASICs have been announced. Um, they're not in anybody's hands yet, as you can see by the network hash rate as of today. It's actually gone down a little bit, but I figured because the days of mining of lithium are coming to an end and I'm not seeing a lot of growth out of the Casper Forks right now, it seemed like a perfect time to slam my farm on a lithium. And with FishHash being such a fantastic algorithm to mine off of, I figured I'd share some Ironfish, Lithium, Zilliqa settings for the 30 series and the 40 series. This video will be brief as there's not much change to the previous videos I did, which I will link down below. And my settings will be down below as well. Remember, disclaimer is my settings are not yours and you will have to adjust accordingly. And remember, these use a lot of power, especially in the 30 series. Uh, you will use more power than mining Kapow, but you will double your profits compared to just mining straight Ironfish or mining straight Alethium. So there is that to consider. So make sure that your farm can do this. I um, I got my circuits all the way up to the 80% rule in my shed, and I do not actually have everything triple mining as I do not have the power to make everything triple mine. So without further ado, let's get to it. So let's start with the 40 series right here. Um, honestly, the biggest change compared to Pyram Hash and Carlson Hash, you literally just change the name of the algorithm to Alethium, and that's it. There were literally no other changes. I really like the way these settings were dialed in, and most core algorithms are, are pretty much exactly the same. So you can go ahead and use these. Now remember, the 4070 Ti has slightly different, or I'm sorry, the 4060 Ti has slightly different settings because of its skim to memory bus. So essentially, you just put these into the flight sheet like so. You know, you have your iron, you have iron, you have a lithium, and you have the wallets. I just configured the pool, the pool in the miner because it was easier, but you can use hero miners for both. And then you will put your extra config settings that are over here. You will put them right in here. So it's pretty straightforward and copy and paste. Especially for the 30 series, the 40 series. And you can see what the uh, all the 40 series models minus the 60 Ti get right here. And you can see what the 40, 60 Ti's get right here. Along with their power usage right there. Now let's move to the 30 series again. All of the overclocks are right over there, so you can see them at any point in this video, and I will have them down below. The only thing that really is worth noting on the 30 series, besides you have to change the um, Alethium, you will have to adjust the R mode a little bit compared from Pyram Hash and Carlson Hash. The best thing you're going to want to do is either play with it yourself or just use my settings. Um, essentially, the higher the R mode, the more power you will use, but the more uh, Alethium you'll get. You, my this was the perfect mix for me you basically essentially get about 80 percent of what you would get normally mining just the lithium with this hash with these settings and then you get 98 percent of iron for not that much more power than kapow so that's really it guys uh this was a quick video i didn't really need to go too in depth because i've already done one of these before and honestly setting the flight sheet is up is pretty easy and there's not much of a difference in terms of uh OCing compared to the uh, other videos i did again i'll have links down below for those so again this is probably your last chance to get a lithium and i would take advantage of it personally uh not financial advice but usually coins pump when there are asics that are releasing so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching this video Please like and subscribe for more GPU and CPU mining content. Again, I have my whole farm on this combo right now. Not financial advice, but I think it will be a winning play. So thank you again for watching. I'm so close to 4,000 subs. I need about 600 more. to. So if you guys could help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Crew man, out.